Hello everyone, happy Friday and welcome to this week's edition of the Friday Five. That's ten, I meant five. Cut it in two. Anyways, this week the Friday Five is random. I'm gonna give you a list of five random tips that I've learned along the way on this trip around the world. So then maybe you can use them while you travel. Here we go. Your camera can be your map. So, sometimes when you have your guidebook, for example, Europe on a shoestring, it weighs one kilogram. That's not fun to take with you while you're sightseeing. So, I discovered you can use your digital camera and take a picture of the map inside if you really need it. Then, leave your book at home and just take your camera. When you get lost, just preview your photos and your camera, your map, sorry, is on the camera display. Brilliant. Oh! Ever have that problem where you're changing from country to country and therefore the currency is constantly changing? I have had changed from all over the place, but if you have coins especially, you can't take them into a currency exchange place because they just won't take them. And they likely will take a commission and give you a bad rate. So what do I do instead? When I meet a traveler who is going to a place that I've been, that I still have currency from, we switch. For example, I'm in Vietnam and I go to Laos and I meet someone who's going to Vietnam. I need some Lao money, they need Vietnamese money, we swap. It's beautiful. Three! Bring with you business cards or contact cards in general. Here's mine, the backpack with Barack card. It's handy because, I mean, I have a website, so it's nice to be able to promote the website when I meet other travelers, but it's also great for just exchanging information. I can't tell you how many times I've written random emails down on pieces of paper and then lost them never to see that person ever again. Um, so, if we all had cards, it would make life so much easier because I could just, we could just trade cards and then have the other person's information. And if you still don't want to keep in touch with them, oh, you lost it. <laughs> Always carry a little notebook. This can come in handy when you meet another traveler and they have some suggestions for you. You can write it down. Or you need to get on a certain bus or need a phone number write it down or you have a good experience you know for i for a, good, a great example i had a great driver in siem reap cambodia at the temples so i wrote down his information then whenever i meet other travelers i can always give them that uh, recommendation because you meet enough scams along the way that when you find something good share it with everyone so that they can have a good experience like you did that was off topic. Bring a notebook. Wow! Finally, and this is probably the tip I'm most proud of, and that has to do with headphones. I have bad luck with headphones, and they are always breaking. Uh, and I'm usually always listening out of one ear. And I constantly noticed that when I would go on planes, that they would give me these headphones with the double prong, which won't go into my computer or if I had an iPod, my iPod. But then I discovered something. Check this out. This is a headphone jack that is supposed to go into your headphone thing and it's actually so that two people can listen to the music. Two sets of headphones plugged in right there. But look what I discovered. The two prong headphone from the airplane fits in perfectly. So, all those headphones that you left on the plane because you'll never be able to use again, now you can use them. And there you have it, folks. Another Friday Five and a random Friday Five at that. I think the only way to finish off a random Friday Five, or the only appropriate way, would be to give you a random fact about myself. What's random about me? Random, random, random. T 
Tina Turner blew me a kiss at her last last North American show probably ever. Yeah, Tina Turner. And if you don't know who Tina Turner is, well, let me know because that's going to make a whole other Friday Five. I don't know how that would re relate to this trip. But that's my random fact about me. And it was the best night of my entire life. Um, I guess I'll see you next Friday. If you have any random tips for other travelers, uh, leave it in the comments below and maybe I'll use it in a future Friday Five. Uh, in the meantime, take good care of yourself. Have a fantastic weekend, a great week next week. I hope you're loving the videos, loving Europe, because Europe's proving to be pretty fun, isn't it? And um, keep on keeping on. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three.